Hello, this is Kiki, and here are my keys to tonight's Chicago Blackhawks game against the New York Rangers. And my first key is, end the back-to-back -back games on a good note. I know it was just last night that the Blackhawks played against the New York Islanders, and sometimes when the Hawks play back-to-back -back games, they tend to get a bit sluggish. But in order to end the back-to-back -back games on a good note, they need to stay focused, stay active on the ice and on the scoreboard, try to limit their mistakes, and maintain the momentum once they have it. My second key to the game is sweep the Rangers. Now, the last time the Rangers and the Blackhawks played against each other, it ended in a disappointing shutout loss for the Hawks. If the Hawks want to sweep the Rangers, because this is the last time these two teams will be playing against each other in the regular season, they need to stay active on the scoreboard, get pucks to the net, and don't let the Rangers take the momentum away from them. My third key is keep scoring early goals. In last night's game against the New York Islanders, the Blackhawks were able to score not just one goal, but two goals in the beginning of the game. The earlier they score, the more momentum they'll gain, and the better chances of them having another good game. And my fourth and last key is, be aware of the Rangers. The New York Rangers will be coming off a 2-1 win against the Florida Panthers, making it the third win in a row for them. Here are some key Rangers players to be aware of. Rick Nash, who leads the team in points and goals. Derek Brizard, who leads the team in assists. And Kevin Hayes, who has gotten two assists in the last 10 days. Well, that's all for Kiki's Keys of the Game. I will fill you in on the outcome after. Until next time, go Blackhawks!